Alhamdulillah. Just before we, we resume our maulid, there's a question that someone just asked that really bears public response. It's a very important question. And it highlights the, the danger of literal misinterpretation, right? which, which is a big problem in our times, that there are people who insist on, on literal understandings, but they choose the ugliest of understandings possible. Right? And Allah SWT talks about such people in the Qur'an. That there are verses that are clear and other verses that are unclear. Okay. So as for those whose hearts are diseased, in which there is wavering, they seek out unclear verses, seeking to interpret them, right, and seeking fitna thereby. Right, from the opening verses of Surah Ali Imran. And there's... And Sometimes they deem verses that are clear to be unclear. Right? Things that have clear meanings. We know if you have any sound understanding, it's obvious what it should mean right? and what it can't mean. But out of this ugly literalism, they'll ascribe the ugliest of meanings to things that are so clear. So the verse I was asked about was, is from Surah Al-Duha which actually we recited at Maghrib. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Surah Al-Duha swears by the early morning and by the, by the night. Right? And it is a, both a consolation and an honoring of the Prophet Wasallam, Surah Al-Duha. Right? And in it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds the Prophet وسلم, of his tremendous blessings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًّا فَهَدَى He found you at a loss and he truly guided you. وَوَجَدَكَ ضَالًّا فَهَدَى Now the word ضَلَال What does it mean? Unfortunately, there are translations out there that say, he found you misguided and he guided you. And even there's a different thing, he found you at a loss and saying you found, he found you lost and he guided you. So what does it mean? Uh, Ibn Ajiba, in his Ajib, in his uh, amazing tafsir, Al-Bahr Al-Madid, he explains. And we'll just read it, it's a brief section. What does it mean? Did we not find you at a loss? He says, right? That he found you at a loss and guided you, meaning that he found you unaware of the specific divine guidance, of the specific divine teachings, the shara'i'ah to which intellect alone cannot, cannot guide one. Because the Prophet ﷺ came at a time before, yeah, at, at a time of fetra, the message of no previous Prophet remained in his time. Fahada, so he guided you, meaning he guided you to divine guidance. And this is referred to elsewhere in the Quran. Ma kunta tadri mal kitabu wal al iman. You did not know what is in the book, the Quran, right? Nor the details of faith. Qal al Qushayri, Imam al Qushayri said, "A dalan an tafsil al sharaa'ah, fahadaynaka ilayha." Meaning, at a loss regarding the details of divine guidance, so Allah guided you to them, and and Allah made you aware of their details. Right? And then he says, وَلَمْ يَقُلْ أَحَدٌ مِّنَ الْمُفَسِّرِينَ ضَالًّا عَنِ الْإِمَانِ No, none of the Imams of Tafsir ever said that this means that 
he was lost with respect to faith. And no one ever said that. Right? And this was mentioned before by Qadi Iyad. And some said that it's referring to a particular incident in his life. But that's a weaker interpretation, although it happened. That once when he was a child, the Prophet ﷺ was lost in one of the valleys outside Mecca. And people couldn't find him. And he found his own way back to Mecca. Right? By you know, divine assistance. But that's meaning a secondary interpretation re regarding particular incidents in his life. So this is just one example of people making, you have to be very careful about translation, right? about translation, because very often the person translating is completely unaware of the deen. Or worse than being unaware, they have wrongful understanding of the deen that they project onto the texts. Right? This verse is actually a reminder of divine favor. He found you at a loss. Why was he at a loss? Because the Prophet ﷺ, even before revelation, was a person of tawheed. A person intensely seeking the divine. What was he doing in the cave? Like chilling out? He was in devotion to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? He was engaged not just in some devotion. Right? He spent weeks isolated in acts of worship and supplication and devotion, intensely seeking Allah. But, right, and in a state of presence that we cannot comprehend with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah honored him with that final revelation being manifest at him. So he was at, he found you at a loss in a state of intense seeking. From which, and this is not a tafsir of the verse, some of the great imams said, it is pointing to the intensity of the love of the Prophet ﷺ for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He found you at a loss, because that's the state of lovers. Lovers are always in, at a state of loss. As to how do I attain unto the favor of the beloved? And dalal, right, dalal is when you, when you don't know the way to a desired destination. But it's also one of the names for love. Dalal, faratul hub. Dalal is overwhelming love. When love overcomes you, so you don't know which way to go. Right? Right? And that's not the tafsir of the verse itself. Right? It means at a loss. But it is pointing to right, the state of intense yearning, intense love that the Prophet ﷺ had, has for his Lord, by which he was honored with that final divine guidance. We, and although it's controversial, one of the great Imams of the subcontinent, Imam Ahmad Raza Khan, in his translation, he translated it in this way. Right? He found you overwhelmed in his love. So he guided you to his Closeness. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He protect us from strange and unfortunate un understandings. But one should have a filter, right? That not everything that's said out there is reliable. Right? Not everything that's said out there is reliable. And anything that goes against, we know, you know, that everything about divine guidance, everything about the Prophet, وسلم, everything about this deen, everything about our Lord is mercy. And any is beauty, is virtue. And anything that is conveyed that is contrary to that, say to yourself, I accept what is true. 
and then find out whether what's being said is being conveyed correctly and e explained in a correct manner or whether maybe you're not understanding it and its implications correctly. We don't have to accept everything that's said out there because a lot of things that are said out there are very unfortunate. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, for guidance and clarity and make us of those who experience that, that sense of dalal, of being lost in absolute love. And may He guide us to the ways of attaining unto eternal belovedness. Wa salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina wa Nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.